Well, Ben Rathblack, man, <laughs> for a rocket scientist, man, you're gonna make every household, you know, not have to go to the store again because we just plug in your printer and I can get a new set of plates or new cups or new shoes even, I guess. You know, anything I want from these 3D printers that you're making, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, and now there's others on the market and why is yours so special now? Well, um, we looked at um, the kind of printers that were being built at the time when we started, this is about a year and a half ago, and uh -huh. we really, really, we wanted to use a 3D printer for our own rocket project, <laughs> and we said, okay, well, what do we need? Well, we need a printer that's big, because we need to be able to print big things, uh -huh. right? We needed to be able to print a bunch of different materials all at the same time, ah. right? Um, and we also wanted to have pretty good precision, right? And we didn't have a lot of money. I so uh, <laughs> we went and started looking, and we couldn't find one. So we said, "All right, well, um, well, how do we build one?" And we started learning and studying other people's designs, and 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 just studying theory, and and started experimenting with different things. And at some point, we said, "Hey, you know, this is going to be a great printer." Well, I, I saw even like uh, on the crowdfunding site that you're on a uh, Kickstarter that you even bought a whole lot of other people's stuff to study them, right? Was that a lot of reverse engineering you were doing? Um, not, not so much reverse engineering. We actually um, we actually c consciously made the decision that we we can't design from scratch every piece. Uh huh. I see. Um, and so what we did is we designed the key part, which is the frame itself and how it works. Right. Uh, and then initially we wanted to use other people's extruders, ah. and so we used components and put them together and got them to work. Um, so we weren't actually re reverse engineering them, but at one point it became clear that uh, existing extruders were a little too big and heavy and bulky, ah. and so we ended up having to redesign that anyway. Ah, oh, that's terrific. But I mean, most importantly about this thing, I mean, most of these pre printers particularly uh, uh, could, you know, you, they print tinker toys or something like that, but you get two feet by two feet stuff. Wow, look at <laughs> that. comes out of your printer, man. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah and that's, all a little, that's a little vase that we printed. It's uh, it's about 10 inch tall, it's about 10 inch wide. Wow. And, uh, so that's what people have looked forward for, to. And, and actually getting now, I mean, you're on Kickstarter with it and you've got three or four more weeks. And if people buy it now, they're really getting a deal. I mean, it's like four or 500 bucks off, you know, the yeah. retail price when it's out there. Yeah, so in, absolutely. Yeah, so in addition to supporting you and getting this out there for everybody, man, they become the first on the block. Plus, <laughs> they got such a deal. <laughs> yeah, I think we're we're um, we, we really try to get a, a price down as low as we possibly can. We're basically not making any money on the printers on Kickstarter, um, and on our lowest model um, uh, that that prints one cubic foot, right? So one 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch um, will cost about twenty five hundred dollars on Kickstarter right now. With two extruders, ah, I um, see. and that's another thing that our printer does that that pretty much nobody else. There's one other company that has multiple extruders, but basically, um, their their printer is much smaller. So we have a big printer. It has up to four extruders, meaning that you can work with four materials at the same time. Now I saw in the video. I mean, do you make food out of this thing too, or what? Do they... Not yet. Uh, not yet. Um, so. Um, the other really cool part about our, our, our um, printer is that, um, uh, I'm going to show you folks an extruder here. Um, uh -huh. and, and that's kind of an, an important part right here. Here's what an extruder looks like. Ah. Right? So what happens is plastic goes in into that little hole, hole right there. Oh, I see. So yeah. if a, a thing of plastic goes in yeah, there and like melts. A and... Filament, like a, like yeah. a, think of it as a very thick fishing line. Right? Mm -hmm. And it gets melted in this part right here. Uh -huh. That's called the hot end. Mm -hmm. right here, and, and there's a tiny, tiny little hole that ah. you can't see. It's, it's about a third of a millimeter in diameter. I see. So that what layers out the material, huh? Right. So what happens is the machine then takes, so you mount, see this, this kind uh -huh, of a dovetail right. joint? Yeah, this gets mounted on the machine, uh -huh. right? And you just screw it down a little tighter, mm -hmm. right? Ah, uh, I see. And then the machine moves it back and forth and ah. crosswise like this, mm -hmm. and it draws different pictures. Ah, I see. Uh, and then and then it moves up a layer and draws the and next, the next layer. one. So by the time it's ready for the next layer, the, that layer is sort of dry enough to add on to it, huh? That, that's right. So um, 
our basic machine comes with two of these. I see. And for another $500, you can get two more. And steak knives, huh? <laughs> and steak knives, right? But here's the really cool part. Because we designed it to be really easy to take on and off, you just undo the screw and you I right see. Out. Um, in the future, we'll make more different kinds of extruders. I see. These, these are what we call filament extruders because mm -hmm. they take a plastic filament. Right. But later on, we'll have paste extruders. Wow. So, so you can, can like, put... Load it up with chocolate and Boston cream <laughs> and make a, a, custom, a custom statuette of Matthew out of chocolate. <laughs> well, show us a statue. You've you made statues out of plastic now. Oh, what yeah. are those statues uh, you have there? I, I'm going to move them by a little quick because they're not necessarily yeah. safe. <laughs> well, they're works of art. Yeah. They're, they're works of art, right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's out of 3D proof. But more, so if someone's watching now and they've never, hey, man, that sounds cool. I want to do this, but I'm no engineer. But you say there's places around the country, all over the place, uh, all over the country, they could go and learn for next to nothing. I mean, uh, almost to learn and, and to use an existing one somewhere. Uh, to learn and how to use these things. What are they called now? What are these places? Absolutely. There are these uh, um, um, organizations that are called maker spaces or hacker uh -huh. spaces. And, and the terms get, to get used often to mean the same thing. They're a little different, but not that much. Yeah. Um, a maker space or a hacker space is a place where you can go and it has tools and oh. it has people and it has, uh, you know, there's people who teach you. Um, and basically, the difference between the two is that a makerspace is more focused on people who use machines or use mm -hmm. printers or use craft, and they're just kind of working with their hands. Uh, uh, and a hackerspace is is more about computers and, and learning how to write programs or how to uh, make uh, things come alive with computers built into them. So then you could go for either or both of those things at a makerspace and learn That's how right. to make stuff. And I guess more importantly, though, you could go and learn how to use all these important tools to think. So if you're a tinkerer kind of person and thinking about having a 3D printer in your house someday, you know, it'd probably better go to makerspace, see what these are and how to use them. And then, then That's you, how I start. Really? And then yeah. you go to 3dmonster.com without the E in monster, right? <laughs> And you'll always be there plugging these things because it's obviously going to be a hell of a growth industry. Now, I have a, I have a boy who's uh, uh, now an organic farmer, and, and he's looking to you know, get a 3D printer to make all parts for equipment or anything he needs, and he doesn't have to FedEx them or, or any of this kind of stuff. Absolutely. When we were prototyping uh, our printer, uh, uh -huh. We needed to play with different gear ratios on the motor. Ah. That's, a, that's a stepper motor, like the kind you'd use inside of a, a 3D printer, right? So we we printed our own uh, pulleys, wow. so that we can play with different sizes, sizes different right or sizes. whatever thing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and in fact, uh, here, here's another thing we made. Oh. This is this is a little cylinder. <laughs> it, 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 it holds up the filament spool because the way you buy filament for a right. printer is in the spool. So this is a little holder. Now this is actually part of the actual printer that we sell. Wow. Um, you know, it's got a little bearing that's printed right. into it. So you can actually combine plastic parts <laughs> with uh, parts you get off the shelf. Like wow. bearings. Yeah, you, you, and, and they charge you a fortune for those little parts. At least the cars do now. Yeah, for anything well, you want. They want to say. Right? Nowadays, um, you know, we, 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 we just, when we need a part, we just print it. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, one of my kids lost a uh, knob on on the gas stove, so just oh, just you know, it's funny. And it. We we have a burned one over here. Somebody was using it and they burned the thing. Wow. So more now I got another reason I need a three D printer. Right. Everybody needs a 3D printer. <laughs> and so if you're thinking about one now, it's really go to three D Monster M O N S T R dot com and uh, find your printer there because it goes to Kickstarter and this is a, the best time to get a deal on a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, and also that, that hackerspaces.org is a place 
to learn how to use these things or, or you want to be creative with anything in the new technology they teach you for next to nothing you don't have to go to some expensive consultant you know to do all these things right yeah, exactly. well nice to have you in the world Ben and, and, uh, and I, I'm glad that rockets got you into this because now the rest of us who just want toys <laughs> Thank Have you so much for having me. Uh, you bet. Take care. Take care.